it's accepted wisdom that a weaker loonie is good for exporters. The logic is that it's cheaper for other countries to buy Canadian-made products. But that doesn't seem to be the case, even with our dollar at a 12-year low. So, does a low loonie actually help exporters? Maybe. A cheaper Canadian dollar helps exporters, but there are other ingredients that we need in the mix. It can't be cheap for a week or a month. We really have to think about keeping the Canadian dollar in that sort of 70 or maybe 75 cent range for an extended period of time. It took several years for a strong Canadian dollar to do a lot of damage actually to our export capacity. When a Canadian dollar rises to parity, it rose, that's like a, a 60% increase in the value of the Canadian dollar. All of a sudden, international uh, buyers of Canadian products would say, that's too expensive. So when the Canadian dollar was elevated for a decade, many Canadian companies had to shed or close their manufacturing capacity. All those car assembly plants that closed, for example, you're not getting a boost in Canadian auto production that the way you would have historically because the plant isn't here anymore. But I also think we have to think beyond manufacturing. One of the areas we can be very successful is in services exports. For every dollar of services we export, we keep a lot more of that content within Canada. And that includes everything from architects and engineers and consultants. Tourists will come to Canada in increasing numbers, particularly Americans. We're already seeing that. That has a direct impact on the Canadian exports of tourism services. We only have to look at what happened during the period where the Canadian dollar was strong. So from 2010 to 2013, we had a very strong Canadian dollar. And even though oil was at $100 a barrel, we were running a big trade deficit with the rest of the world. So the evidence was there that a strong and overvalued Canadian dollar hurt our export capacity. Uh, clearly, the reverse is also true. A weaker Canadian dollar will eventually help. <laughs>